Today we are going to make and paint the house of our dreams inspired by the book The Big Orange Splot. Today we're going to create a sculpture using an old milk carton and plaster casting strips. We'll tape the top of the milk carton together and then dip plaster cast strips in water. Make sure that you smooth that plaster casting over the milk jug to where all those empty holes are gone. Notice how they disappear when you rub your fingers over them. This casting will dry hard and it will be the beginning steps of our house sculpture. Put this to the side to dry on our drying rack in the back of the room with your teacher's name on it and then when it's done drying we'll be ready to paint. While the mold is drying, in class I'm going to give you a piece of paper to draw and rank your design for what you want your house to look like before you begin painting. Once you get that design approved by me, you can paint your first layer of your house. I am going to make an ocean home, so my first layer in coat will be a blue. Maybe you want to make a house of many different colors, then you'd paint in many different colors. Maybe you want to make a basketball house, so you would use the color orange. This is the time where you will paint your first layer down and let it dry. Before you paint, remember, you're writing a plan in class. After that first layer of paint is done, then you can start adding details. Here's an example of a house that's an artist's house. Maybe you want to make many different colors. Maybe your design will look like tie-dye. Maybe it will look like a paintbrush coming out of the side of the house. Maybe you want a house with a garden, a balcony, windows and doors. Think about what kind of shape you want your house to look like. Will it have a door that's a heart? Will it have regular rectangle doors, regular rectangle windows, or will you have a different design? I'm adding balconies, a big window, side doors, and a little heart window. You can create your design to be whatever it is that you want it to be. This is the final step when things are dry, you begin to add details. Once everything is painted in, you will go over your house with a clear, shiny coat of sealant. You can choose sparkle sealant or clear sealant. This is when the house is ready and complete. For my ocean house, I'm creating waves on the side. This is when my first layer is done drying. I make a seashell door and I add an octopus coming from the top. I add little fishes on the side and on the back I create a giant shark window. Remember this is the house of your dreams so you don't have to copy my ideas but it's just a way to show you that you can paint anything you want on your very own house. What will, what will your windows look like? What will your roof look like? What would the house of your dreams be? So notice that in several steps, you'll paint details. This is my shark window. Once you're done, let it dry, and then we'll display our houses together and have a great day playing with the house of our dreams.